You've been requesting a crepe cake, so today we're making this amazing 12-layer chocolate crepe cake. And I know she seems difficult and high maintenance, but I promise you she's just as casual and easygoing as her sister. <laughs> the one-layer cake. I want to thank Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. More on them later. Okay, so we're gonna start by making the crepes. We're making a chocolate crepe cake today. So in this bowl, I have some cocoa powder, sugar, flour, and salt. You want to give this a rough mix and add the liquid ingredients. Now I know some people will not like what I'm about to say, but I really do think a splash of coffee makes a difference in this recipe. If you've ever had simple crepes, and when I say simple crepes, I do mean like a crepe by itself, no filling, you'll know it doesn't have much flavor to it. It's really the filling that makes the crepe. However, because this is a crepe cake, I really wanted, besides the filling, the crepes to have delicious flavor as well. To avoid lumps, add the milk in two additions and mix until combined. You could even just put everything in a food processor or a blender. Just be careful to not over blend your batter. Your batter will be runny, that's perfect. Set it to the side while we make the filling. If you're new to my channel, hello there, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. Okay, so as I said, the soft creamy filling is really the star of this recipe. So we're gonna make a cheesecake filling. This is easy, delicious, and it pairs so well with the chocolate crepes. Everything goes in the same bowl. It's just cream cheese, vanilla, sugar, and heavy cream. You're gonna whip this up to medium to stiff peaks. It's really Really simple the filling takes three minutes to make and it's so good if you want to eat this with a spoon please do it's delicious pop this in the fridge and i want to talk to you about today's sponsor simply safe which is an incredibly reliable and modern home security system that will make sure your home and your family are safe i've been thinking of getting a home security system for a while now and what i love about this one is that it's easy to use there's no contracts and you don't need to call somebody to set it up for you you just order it online or over the phone and gets delivered right to your door and you can set it up yourself under an hour They've got sensors to cover windows, rooms, doors. You get 24 seven home security. And if anything happens, they'll make sure the police gets called. I personally love all the extras that come with it. Smoke detector, water sensors, which let's talk about this for a moment, okay? <laughs> I live in an old apartment and you won't believe this, but my plumbing broke for a total of three times this year. Yes, three times. The downstairs neighbor was not happy. I was not happy repainting her wall three times. I find the water sensors are so handy. They detect leaks and essentially prevent damage. I cannot say enough good things about Simply Safe. It's so affordable. For just 50 cents a day, you get 24-hour home security with no contracts. They've even won best overall home security of 2020. I'll leave their link in the description box. Go to simplysafe.com slash Emma. This is a home security system that I fully support and recommend. To make the crepes, you'll need a nonstick pan. Even if it's nonstick, I still do recommend you lightly grease it. Your flame should be on medium low. You do want to preheat your pan and you're gonna add a small amount of batter to your pan and swirl the pan. I do actually like to add a tad more batter than what's usually recommended for making crepes because if you make these too thin, what's gonna happen is the edges will crisp up and it's just not a nice look or a nice texture for a cake. These crepes cook really quickly. You'll know when to flip them when the top dries out. Cook these for another 20 seconds and then place these onto some parchment paper. Because they're really thin, they'll cool really quickly. By the time I finished cooking my last crepe, all the other ones had completely cooled. Okay, so we're ready to assemble this baby. You're going to place your first crepe onto some parchment paper and add a thin layer of frosting. I found the perfect amount of frosting to be around two ice cream scoops, but you could add a little more if you want more. Now let's talk about this cake. The first time I ever heard of crepe cakes, I was a bit skeptical. Just because I personally think crepes are best served warm. However, it does really come down to choosing the right soft filling. If you choose the right filling, this cake will literally melt in your mouth. This really does become a creamy melt in your mouth cake. Smooth out the sides and the top. This cake does make around 10 to 12 layers. I want to say it just depends on what size pan you used. Now, the hardest thing about crepe cakes is that they do need to set in the fridge. If you were to cut this right away, the filling and the crepes would just separate. So ideally, you do want to make this the day before for the day after. Okay, so fast forward, just before serving, you're going to place your chilled cake onto a rack with a plate or a clean um, tray. <laughs> my goodness, underneath and drench your cake in liquid ganache. I will leave the recipe for this in the description box. It's 
amazing. I feel like I do have to specify this. You do not want to throw out, you know, the excess ganache. You can freeze it in an airtight container for another time or make truffles or chocolates with it. We're going to cut into it and reveal these beautiful layers. Listen, if you've been wanting to make a crepe cake, but you've been holding back, now is the time to not hold back. Make this. This is gooey, creamy, delicious, and it'll melt in your mouth. Before you go, remember to check out Simply Safe. Their link will be in the description box below.